Today, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite photos from the past couple of weeks and two bonus things. Hey, what's up? It is Ryan and uh, I'm coming to you from my living room again just because I felt like doing something different. But uh, today I actually wanted to make a video uh, about a couple of photos from these past couple of weeks that I've taken that are actually have been some of my favorite so far. Um, I am waiting on some film to come back from a couple of cameras I'm reviewing and then I also have a project coming up this weekend. So I figured as I'm trying to keep a schedule with my videos, I'd want to make something for today's video. So we're going to go over, like I said, some of the photos from these past couple of weeks that I've taken on a couple of journeys and a couple of trips and really just go over the ones I like and go over why I like. So most of these are going to be taken and shot on my Yashica T. Uh, apparently I've become the ambassador of Yashica because it's all I ever talk about. But the camera, I mean, just takes incredibly great photos. So I actually took it out with me when I was uh, doing the video on the Brevet jumper bag, which you can actually find up here. Go check it out. It is an incredible incredible bag. Um, and while we were doing that, I was actually actually taking photos with the Yashica T uh, through Astoria. And here are some of the ones I took on it. And again, you can really see like the highlights and the shadows are really good. The color representation is really good. And it's overall pretty sharp. Side note, I scanned all of these in myself. I'm so happy to be back scanning. I'm going to be making a video about how to scan your photos with an Epson V600 very soon. But let's check out these photos from that walk. But yeah, those, those came out great. I mean, I love taking photos in the city and the streets like of the trains, the subways and stuff like that. And these photos really came out really good. I was super satisfied with them and I just really shows how good the Yashica is. So next, I took the camera to a family gathering at my cousin's house. She has a huge backyard with a huge, beautiful pool. And I just took it with me because I wanted to capture moments from the day. And we were just all kind of hanging out in the pool and having a good time. And uh, you know, I took a couple of photos, some of the kids. and then some of my family. And then mostly a lot of them uh, revolving around having fun in the pool. I actually really like this photo a lot. It just kind of really stood out to me. It, was, it just lined up perfectly where this little floaty was in this other floaty at the corner of the pool. And it just really came out really good. And you can see again, the sharpness and the color representation are just incredible. Then I actually had the opportunity to use this uh, flash on the camera to show how good the flash is and making the photos really that 90s feel and really bright and really accurate. And here's a photo of my cousin's uh, big dog, Chester. Uh, she has two golden retrievers. One is bigger than the other, but I got this one and the dog just looks really funny and really cute in it. And it just shows how good the actual flash on the camera actually is. So that was our day uh, hanging out at the pool at my cousin's. And then finally, I took the Yashica with us when we went to New Jersey and accidentally took a seven mile hike to go to a waterfall that was extremely underwhelming. But along the way, I took some really good photos of us traveling through the woods. Uh, we had to cross a highway to get to this waterfall, which was really odd even though we went over a bridge we still had to cross the highway for some reason but in the woods they took some really good photos because you know in the woods you have different variables of light and shadow and contrast and these photos came out really good And then, like I said, we had to cross this major highway to get to this waterfall. 
And then we finally got to the waterfall, again, slightly underwhelming for the seven mile hike we had to do, but still good nonetheless. And I took a couple of photos there. And again, it really just shows the versatility of the film that I was using, Portrait 400, and also the camera that I was using, the Yashica, just shows that it can really get really good photos with a lot of different light variables and color variables and really still get accurate, good photos. So those are the last ones with the Yashica. I have a couple of photos from a new camera I've been playing with, a camera that blew me away with the photos. I mean, I always say that, but this really impressed me. This is the closest thing I've seen. Like these look like they shot on a digital camera, but the photos that came out of it are really good. I'm not gonna give away what camera it was yet because I wanna do a full review and full breakdown of that camera, but I'll just show you these couple of photos that I took with it. And like, they just look so, so good. I was so happy with them. I was actually surprised by them. Just like with the Ryko 500, which you can see here. I didn't expect really good results out of it. I just felt like I wasn't using it properly, but I was definitely surprised with how good they came out. So yeah, those are some of the photos from these past couple of weeks that I really enjoyed, came out really good. I mean, check out these photos with the Yashica of this beautiful old red vintage classic car. I mean, look at that color. I mean, yes, that has to do with the film and the editing I do, but just look at how sharp and look at the color of that car. It's impressive. This is why I love that camera. But that's it for the photos that I wanted to show you. There's two things I wanted to really just show real quick that I got in the mail today. Uh, first thing is uh, I got this analog quartet from Lomography. Uh, it is four different types of film in there. You have this new film that has come out that people are really into, it's the Metropolis film. It gives a very washed out, desaturated kind of film. Then there's two black and white, and then there's this purple, which changes all of the greens to purple. So expect in the next couple of weeks to a month, I'm gonna be taking photos with these, getting them developed and really talking in depth about this film. I'm super excited to play with this. They're actually sending me some more film for my 110 camera because they like the videos and you now I really appreciate it. I can't wait to get those. Um, but check out the videos in the next couple of weeks. You'll be seeing that I'll be playing with this and getting some pretty awesome photos with it. The second thing that I'm actually going to be doing a full video on as well is not actually a camera, it's actually a little tool you use to kind of get yourself out there for your photography or just like kind of like a virtual business card. It's this thing on the back of my iPhone called a Popple. Basically what it is, is it's a little NFC tag that I stuck onto the back of my iPhone that I could still put a case over, surprisingly. And basically what it does is when you tap it to someone else's phone, it automatically sends them to a website that has all of your contact information, your Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, website, email, text message, everything. So all you have to do is just tap it against someone's phone that has a iPhone 10 or more with an NFC chip, or if they don't have that, you can actually open the app and let them scan a QR code and then they have all of your contact info. I'm a big fan of 
business cards, but this is great because this is always with me. My wallet and my business cards are not always with me. This is a game changer and I can't wait to do a full review on it and show you guys where it is. Those are the couple of things I wanted to show you, the little bonus extras. I'll leave a link for the Lomography film below and also for the Popple thing. Again, full reviews coming on both of those soon, but that's it for right now. I hope you enjoyed those photos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I, I, I love getting new subscribers and connecting with them. Leave a like, a comment. Keep on watching the videos and supporting. I really appreciate it. Remember to just shoot and I'll see you later.